Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So we just finished weekly contest 149. So let's discuss about the third question. So for longest repeated character substring. So given a string text, we are allowed to swap two character in the string and we need to find the length of the longest substring with um, repeated character. So yeah, as you can see here, the first example, A, B, A, B, A. So A, B, A, B, A, we can swap this B with this A or this B with this A, right? And after that, we will end up having um, non-repeated uh, uh, repeated character substring AAA as the longest one and BB is the second longest one. So they ask us to return three because the longest one is three. And on the second example, AAA, B, AAA. So we swap this B either with this A or this A. So let's say we already swap it. We will end up with this string. And the longest um, repeated character substring is six, right? And let's see the third example. So AAA, BB, and AAA. So either way of we swap this A with this B or this B with this A, um, we will end up having um, for number of a as the longest repeated character substring right and the fourth example and fifth example just you don't need to swap anything it's already the longest and the fifth one you don't have anything to swap because every character is unique so how we're going to solve this problem is by having um i will start by having an array of left and right so Let's take the second example here. So if I calculate it from the left, um, every time I see a uh, same character with the previous character, I will add one into it. So initially I start with one, and then because um, this the second character is same with first character, we add another one, two, and uh, add another one. And then when we made different character, we reset it to one, and then we see another different character again, so it's become one, same character two, and same character three. So this is the left array, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. And then we have another one called right uh, right character. So right character, um, we count from the right to left. So we, s we, we get one, get two, and then get three, and then get one, get one, get two, and then get three. It's basically a reverse way of calculating the left. We start from right and count to left. So why we need to have those two array? Because we need to determine um, what to merge, right? So here, let's say we, we are at this index, the index of B. So we check the left part of it is an A and the left, right part of it is an A. So how many chain of A is there? The right part is three and the left part is three. So it can form of at least six if this B got replaced, right? So how we decide like what character should we use to um, to replace this B so of course we want an A but which A it is right so in cut in this case we will take A from either the left group or the right group and we will end up having still six three three and then this one is replaced from um, either of the left or right group but Things will be different if we have we have another A outside of the group, right? So in that case, we won't swap it with this A, but the A outside of the left part and right part, which is this A. So we will end up with seven, right? Swap this B and uh, A outside of the left and right group. Yeah, so that's it. So let's see the code itself. So um, our first area here is to calculate the left part and our second area is to calculate the right part and for determining whether we have any a outside of the group is by using a frequency so as you can see here um, we know the left part is three number of a and the right part is three number of a so if we calculate all of the a frequency which is in this case seven and we only have six it means there is an A outside of the left and right part of it. So that's why I also create a frequency of 26 to calculate the frequency of each character. So yeah, if the frequency is six, right? So let's say we don't have this A. 
So left part plus right part is equals to frequency of A. It means it won't uh, add another one to it because it will take from um, either left or right part. So yeah, second um, second array of the code is for the right array, and then we end up on the checking part. So if our left part and our right part, so let's say the index of B, the left of it and the right of it having a same character, which is A and A. So we check like, of course we need to make sure like um, this one is a B, it's not an A, otherwise it's, it's the same group, you, you, you shouldn't um, do a plus there. Right? And then after that we determine the frequency so if the number of frequency is equal to left plus right, it means we will take it from the same group. So either the A is from here or from here. So we don't add another plus one. But if the frequency is different from left plus right, which um, also means like the frequency is more than left plus right, right? because it, it's, it, it's not possible if the frequency is less than that. So we have something outside of the group and having the same character. So we do another plus one there. All right, and then else is the condition of um, it's not this B we are checking, but we are checking like um, for example like um, A A A A B right. So in this case we should return four right. So that is a very normal case there. We should return a four right, and yeah the frequency of A is equals to the left. So but if we have something like this. It will end up using a second condition here which um, we don't have the intersection to be merged but we have another a in outside of our group which is four but we have um, frequency if the frequency is not the same means we can take any a from anywhere and then merge it there so we swap this a to here so that is the plus one case here and the non plus one case is when the frequency is the same right like we don't have A, so this will produce a 1, 2, 3, 4, and our frequency of A is also 4, so we don't do a plus 1. Yeah, so that's it for, for this question, and thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.